Tim. Thank you for coming, joining me on this video. Today, we're gonna to learn how to use TurboCAD to draw a three view of a airplane servo. This is the high-tech HS55 servo, a relatively common servo. We'll do a top, front, and side view with TurboCAD, and along the way, learn how to use some of the basic tools, line tools, parallel lines, fillets, curves, etc., and the trim tool to draw these three views. It's a very good foundation for how to use TurboCAD and some common drawing techniques. Again, thank you for joining me. This video will be in two parts. Uh, be very grateful if you could hit the subscribe and the like button. It'll just help us with YouTube. This is a picture of the HS55 servo, common servo. Um, we'll just take a look at it because we're going to be drawing a drafting image of the front, side, and back. Sketch out uh, the three view of the servo. Mark down the measurements, we'll use this in TurboCAD. This is the finished product that we'll get after drawing all three views. This is TurboCAD version 11. We have a blank drawing being opened up and we are centering it on our workspace. What we're gonna do is call out some common toolbars. Uh, the first is uh, a window for the tools itself. The next are a series of windows for the snaps that we'll be using. Next is the layers uh, window. And then finally, we'll use the um, inspector. This will give us properties of various lines of things that we're drawing in TurboCAD. Notice that the toolbar opens up in 3D. It's important for 2D drawings to go to the 2D function. and It'll check to make sure you want to do it. There's just less uh, tools in the 2D. This is the grid on the workspace. We don't really need grid when we're doing model airplanes design. Uh, that's good for houses and things of that nature, but it's best to just leave off the grid for things like drawing a servo or an airplane. Notice also with the toolbars, some of the toolbars have a little arrow in the bottom right-hand corner. This is a pull-out menu. If we press on that tool and drag to the right, we can tear off that toolbar. So we're going to do that to a few that we're going to use for the servo drawing. We'll do the lines, the circles, the squares. This is the fillet toolbar. And this is the all-important trim toolbar. And we'll do a little bit of text uh, demonstration on this as well. And finally, the mirror command. We won't be using mirror on this video, but it's there. Notice also that for some of the mirror commands, there is an additional flyout menu. You can see the little um, arrow up in the upper left-hand corner. That gives even further options to that um, toolbar. Why they have that in a separate menu, I have no idea. It's just that's the way it is. So if you see those little triangles, it's additional menu bars that can be uh, taken out. So here we are drawing a square. This is going to be the side view of the servo. And notice that when you do draw a square or a line, you can see the little inspector bars up at the top will give you things like the length, angle, items of that nature. Now what I'm demonstrating here is that in TurboCAD, there's a variety of ways to do any common action. In this case, just drawing the box side of the servo. We could draw a box, which is on the left, or we could draw the lines. Notice here that when you um, hold down the space bar, left click on the mouse, the little palm comes up, you can move it around for spacing. Notice when you select the box, that little two arrows things is a grabber. Uh, this is the tape measure we're um, doing to measure the top of the box. And notice when you do the individual lines, when you select an individual line with a grabber, it's just an individual line with the box, the entire object is moved around. And this has implications when you're trimming. It is not a right way or wrong way, just again, two ways to do it in TurboCAD. So we're going to select all that and draw the side view of the servo right now. And we're going to do four separate lines. Now notice when you left click and um, start dragging for the line, if you hold down the shift key, that will make sure that the line is a straight um, line either up and down or sideways at 90 degree angles. Now we've drawn it the desired length we want. We zoom in by the scroll wheel on the mouse 
and we've selected this one line right here. So this line is the proper length for what we're going to be doing um, in TurboCAD. What we're going to do now is the parallel line tool where we select the line and we drag it over and we can drag it the correct distance that will be the width of the servo that we can see up in the little inspector bar at the top of the drawing. Now because the snaps are to the endpoints, we can take the line tool and just connect one endpoint to the other endpoint. And there's our box right there. And holding down the space bar and left click, we can uh, center the drawing again, zooming in and out as we needed with the scroll wheel. Again, we can take the tape measure, measure the top, and it is the correct length that we jotted down on our hand-drawn sketch of the servo. So now what we're going to do is take some lines, horizontal lines, and start building out other aspects of the servo. So taking the parallel line tool, drag this one down, and doing the little yellow box, we can extend that line. This will be the start of building the side handles of the servo. Take the parallel, parallel line tool again and drag it down, just kind of visually about the size of the handles themselves. Now we take the parallel tool another time, and this is just a line in the servo box that we'll add to the drawing. Again, always go back to the pointer to deselect where you start before doing any commands with the parallel line tools. This one will drag it out, looking at the inspector bar on the top, the proper distance for the end of the um, mounting uh, arms for the servo, and we draw it out the same length on the other side as well. And you'll see as we start trimming, all well, this will start to make a little bit more sense. Now we're going to take the uh, corner trim and we select the two sides with a left click and that, go, uh, that nicely trims that out. And we'll do the same for the other side with the corner trim. Just a left click on the two areas you want to trim and the lines disappear. Again, space bar, left click, scroll wheel, we can zoom in to center up the drawing again. Now this is another trim. We need to get rid of this interior line. If we hold down the shift key while we're doing the trim on either side, that allows us to cut out the line in between those two boundaries, which is very handy for something like this. Draw the line for the other uh, handle of the servo, and we'll trim that here, just a standard uh, single line trim. So you select the cutting edge, go back to the pointer, deselect that, the trim tool, highlight the cutting edge, what you want to cut away, and there it is. Again, scroll wheel, space a bar, we'll center up the servo. Now I'll continue using the line tool to draw some larger components of the servo. This is just a placeholder center line for the gear housing uh, for the servo arm and then the servo arm itself. We use a parallel tool and we'll drag using the um, inspector distance up uh, the upper uh, part of the uh, menu to have the same distance left to right, and then another line for the servo housing itself. Again, you're going to see a lot of lines. As you start trimming away, it will make more sense. This will be the top of the housing. And I use a parallel line 
for the ends of the servo arms. Again, looking at the inspector up above for the distance, and we'll do the same distance from that center line for the other end of the servo arm. Again, as we trim this away, it'll make a lot more sense. And go to the pointer to make sure nothing's selected. Always a good idea to save your work in TurboCAD. Um, this will just, we'll name it whatever we want. When you start doing a lot of uh, trimming, cutting, etc., cetera, uh, it's good to periodically save the work. It just um, is a good idea. Now we'll do a little bit of trimming. This is the top of the housing for the um, servo arm. We'll do the left side of that um, gear mounting as well. Now we'll trim the lines below that and you'll start to see things clear up a little bit. And get rid of those interior lines. And now we can get rid of that placeholder center line that we uh, use to build, build out the um, various components. Now we'll take the line tool, we'll snap to the, um, that line, snap over to the other line, and then use the parallel tool, left click, drag to the width of the servo arm. Make sure we deselect everything. And now we can start trimming that up. Again, select the cutting edge, we'll cut away these upper portions. And we can use the line tool, just connect to the endpoints, and that will finish up the top of the servo arm. And one final trim. Notice that there was a little bit of an overlap. Sometimes this will happen when you're drawing lines if they're not quite straight. Again, just select the line, do the trim again. Cutting edge, other, uh, part to be removed, trim again. And when you get these little miscues, it just happens from time to time. Zoom in, you'll see them pretty quickly, and then you can just uh, clean them up with the trim tools, redrawing if necessary. Get a final trim, select the cutting edge, left click on both sides, go back to the selector, and you can see the beginning of the servo from the side view here. The final thing we can do is the fillet tool. I use a radius of about 0 0.02 inches. Remember, this servo is less than an inch um, across. You can't have too large a radius for your curves. But when you add these curves to the housing, the top of the servo, just a nice touch and it gives a pretty good uh, view of what that servo will look like. So this is the end of part one. Uh, the next uh, part will do the top inside view.